Hello Aquarius, it's Erica. Here to do your December 2020 general reading. We're going to look at the energies coming in for you this month. And this will be for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. Or if you have a lot of Aquarius or a lot of air in your chart, this may resonate. Obviously it's general, will not resonate for everybody. So only take the messages that do resonate for you, leave the rest, and then go check out the other placements, the videos for the other placements in your chart, because they can often resonate more than your sun sign. And cross watchers, this may resonate for you instead of for your Aquarius. And um, I am announcing in these videos today a quick flash holiday special that goes through 11.59 p.m. Saturday, December 5th, Pacific time. And it is on my soul growth series for 2021. It's basically my videos I channeled about what to expect in 2021, the energies, the themes, what we can have coming in. It's three hours of videos. It's a whole series. And if you're interested in checking that out and getting more information on it, along with the coupon code, if you do choose to take advantage of this special, that link is down in the description box. And if you miss the special, don't worry. I will be announcing some more throughout the holiday season periodically. So do hit the subscribe and notifications bell if you want to be uh, notified as soon as I announce because I do post them in my videos along with um, sometimes in a post in the community. So that way you get the notification as soon as I announce it because these are usually only good for about 24 hours. So we've been having a lot of fun with them. And I'm glad you guys have been liking it. I know I have been having fun with it too. So let's look at you, Aquarius. What's going on for you for December 2020? So we're getting the mutable moon followed by the emotion, the super moon. Wow. The super moon energy followed by the new moon in Scorpio. A very emotional month for you. Aquarius. Looks like things are kind of all over the place. It looks like there could be some sort of a storm brewing here or where things just feel really potentially emotionally all over the place. Um, and it could be something where you're having to kind of face some of your, your deepest fears, the things that kind of are way deep down inside. Um, and I feel like this is about you staying steady this month, Aquarius. Let's get some more details, though. Let's get some tarot in here and see what this is all relating to. Because with all that super moon, Scorpio energy, mutable moon, this ocean just being very turbulent, um, I feel like things are kind of like you're kind of riding out a storm and just hunkering down. So let's get, what is this nothing is yet set in stone for Aquarius? Oh, see, there's something here where, with that Two of Swords, oh, with the Two of Cups, you're making decisions about love and the Five of Wands. Okay, well, there's definitely some, you're conflicted here, or there's some conflict around this situation. You could feel like stuff is sort of stuck. Um, again, as a general reading, I'm getting multiple messages, so only take the ones that fit for you. Some of you could be dealing with some conflict in a, a relationship that is just kind of getting worse and worse. And I think you could be afraid of possibly ending the relationship but you're afraid to announce it. You're afraid to actually do it, but it almost feels like December could bring about, um, that needed discussion. Let's see what this two of swords is about. Queen of cups. Yeah. You're trying to follow your heart here and five of wands gets the five of wheels. Yeah. There's changes. Um, for some of you, you could feel like in the past you may, like maybe there's some someone that you like didn't open up to and now you're regretting it. Maybe there's some competition. Maybe you're afraid this person's going to reject you. It's like you're connecting to how you feel about this person, but ultimately you don't know what they're going to do. 
there's uncertainty here. Let's see why these emotions are running high. Why do you have the super moon? The king of swords, the ten of wheels, and the wheel of fortune. Wow, okay. Here's family. So in the middle of this reading, we have two of cups and we have the ten of wheels. We have like family, relationship. Um, we have success, money. If this isn't a love reading for you, um, this is where you could be choosing to um, make some decisions around your career and work to do something that you love, something that's rewarding. Maybe you're worried about, you know, doing something that you love. Is it going to bring up enough money? Is it going to support the family? Is it going to be okay if I make this change? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it does feel like there's some sense of things turning in your favor here. There is success here if you're decisive, Aquarius. Why the King of Swords here? See that you're gonna you're trying to make a decision for sure. We've got all out of how many cards here? We've got nine cards, nine tarot cards on the table, and three of them. Okay, are guys, sorry about that. My camera stopped recording for some reason, and um, but I'm gonna re-record the back half of this reading. I've already pulled the cards. But I want to just keep going. So sorry about the little break there. So we were just talking about the fact that with Aquarius, you do have a lot of decisions, a lot of choice points here. And what's happening here is you're ready to take tangible steps towards something that you're going to be really excited about because you're kind of done feeling like you're defeated here. So um, big decisions and lots of things happening here that, um, I feel like is very empowering and clear for you. I feel like you're trying to be very logical and not let emotions get the best of you with whatever choice this is, but it's like your heart is calling to you for something, whether it's work, um, a career that's going to be very rewarding. I feel like you're very going to be very dedicated to whatever it is. So let's look at what the work through your fears is about here. And so the first thing we got here was the page of pentacles, followed by the four of pentacles, followed by the ace of pentacles. So what you're afraid of here is this new beginning. You're afraid of letting go of the past. You're, you're kind of a little bit afraid of going for it, but you are being asked to do something differently in your life. There's a lot of gold here. There's a lot of, um, you know, it's kind of like a golden opportunity for you to start a new phase of your life where there's some real chance for success and happiness. And so um, then I pulled some cards here to clarify this page of wheels. It's like you're going to, again, many of you, this is a new job that's going to be rewarding. You're going to work together with people. But for others of you, this is where you're ready to put the effort in, into something that's going to give you the rewards. And the Knight of Cups came out along with it. So for some of you, definitely this is about making an offer to somebody, opening up to somebody, being ready for some sort of a new beginning here. And it is about letting go of the past, though, and, and, and truly opening your heart, not being afraid to open your heart. So when I got a card on the four of wheels, we did get the sun. So there's such happiness here for you, Aquarius. It's quite remarkable and quite beautiful. But this, this ace of wheels, this new beginning. And we have the nine of swords. These are there are those deep fears, the stresses about this new beginning. But you can work through them because you see what's on the other side here, Aquarius. There's all this beautiful golden light. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of things to celebrate here when you make these decisions. So Aquarius, I pulled a guidance card for you. Surrender procrastination. It says now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. So you know what it is. You've been waiting, thinking about it long enough. And now seeing that you've got this beautiful energy coming in for you. Um, and beautiful success 
right? The Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the celebration with this Three of Cups, this Ace of Pentacles. I mean, it's a, in the sun. My gosh, you can't get much better than the sun. So, all right, Aquarius, I hope you have a fabulous December. Until next time, I send you much love. Bye.